Hey everyone, quick tip video, uh, this is going to be on neatness of wiring and as I've said in the past I'm not a uh, wiring, uh, the authority on neat wiring, the people out there that can make a guitar pedal that looks like there is no wiring. There was one recently posted on the build report section that um, had a uh, Mad Bean build report section that had, um, it looked like it had no wiring at all, that was one from Pick Dropper, absolutely immaculate looking build. Um, but um, I'm getting better at it and, um, and my wiring is neat, so I might be able to help you with a few tips. This is just something, a light bulb moment that I had recently um, and um, I don't know why it's taken me so long to realise this, um, but actually the reason probably is why, because I don't use fabricated boards as much as I used to use a lot of etch boards, but now these days I'm using more fabricated boards for my web store and for people that send me boards that they want me to um, do demos on and things like that. So I'm using more fabricated boards these days. Um, that's probably why it's taken me so long to work this out. But if you're using fabricated boards as well, let's take a look at what the tip entails. So this is my Hydra Fuzz, the three knob um, tone bender, um, tone bender with the tone control. Um, and um, as you can see, it's pretty neat. Um, one thing that I would change, that this is the light bulb moment that I've just realized recently. I've always put my wires through the top here um, because usually with the etch board, the, um, the copper's on the bottom of the board, so you've got to go through the top and solder it on the bottom. But with a fabricated board, obviously it's, it's um, plated through holes, so you can solder it on the top or the bottom. Um, so these wires, you can see I've tucked that one under there to try and disguise it, but it would have been much easier to actually go through the bottom and solder it on the top. So when you're doing the in-out plus ground on the board, um, do it through the bottom first, uh, go, sorry, go through the bottom and solder it on the top and then it will be easier for you to disguise the wires because with neatness and pedal building it really is the art of hiding wires, um, hiding, hiding, all these little, um, hiding all these little wires and as I've said in the past, low, uh, small, the right AWG wire can help with that too. The thicker these wires are, the messier it looks, I can tell you now. Um, this is the wire that I've got on my web store and it's um, AWG24, um, that's usually what I get. Some people like 22, some people like 26, but around that, if you use 18 or 20, it's just going to look chunky wires all over the place and it's going to look messy. And again down here you've got the three pole double throw daughter board. This is one from my web store. Um, and I've gone up through the up through the bottom of the PCB. That's what actually brought the light bulb moment on because I was wiring up this part thinking to myself, why didn't I do it? Why didn't I go th through the bottom of this PCB as well? Um, that's actually what, what brought on the idea. Um, so with this one you can see I haven't soldered the lugs on though. Um, I've been soldering these wires in individually. Um, you can actually I can still pull that board off the three pole double throw in case I have a bit of difficulty shoving the wire through up underneath because you need pliers and it's difficult to actually maneuver it in without having fray wires come off. So you can just actually pull that off, go through the bottom and then put it back down again, then salt, oh, sorry, pull it off, solder it on, then put it back down. But I wouldn't even do that. I'd actually solder on six long wires onto all of these um, through holes uh, and then just wire the, just snake the wire wherever it needs to go. Uh, I think that would be much easier. Uh, much quicker uh, and easier, yeah. So, anyway, that's just a quick tip on um, wiring neatness. It um, comes up a lot, um, particularly with new builders. Um, they see uh, projects like mine or better, and they ask, how the hell do you make things look so neat? comes with experience, um, and as I said before, it's the art of hiding wires, pretty much. You've just got to make, sh make things look... Um, less crowded than they actually are. I mean, if you look on that side on, you can see I've got three wires running down the side there, whereas from the top it only actually sort of looks like one. Um, so yeah, it's just tricks like that, um, hiding the wire pretty much. Um, but anyway, hope that helped um, you with uh, getting your pedals looking nice and neat. Um, and um, thanks for watching the video.